begin with a territorial acknowledgement. Homewood Health acknowledges with respect the Wasanich people on whose territory Homewood Ravens View stands and recognizes that their historical relationships with the land continue to this day. Hello and welcome to each of you on this special day. My name is Deanna Brady and I'm the Vice President and General Manager here at Ravens View. I would first like to express my sincere thanks to each of you for attending today. It's not often that we get to gather and celebrate the significance of our unique community and our proud partnership with the Saanich Nation. And a lot of what we are celebrating today is that sense of community, of being grateful, and of the importance of traditions. I'd like to give a special thanks to the members of our executive team that have joined us today, along with other members of our clinical team here and others at Raven's View. By being here today, you help to signify the importance of the work Homewood is doing across Canada as part of its commitment to its truth, truth and reconciliation journey. I would also like to welcome members of the Sandwich Nation and all of the special guests who helped us to get here today. So, why are we here today? Today is a wonderful milestone day for Raven's View, a day that we are opening our new cultural space for our patients and guests. The new space is not only a respite for those on their healing journey to meditate and reflect, but also for those practicing their cultural traditions, such as smudging. It is emblematic of our ongoing relationship with the Saanich Nation and a true testament to the long-standing commitment Raven's View has in place to continue to support and collaborate with Pakachin, Seut, Sartlet, sorry, <laughs> and Sacum Nations people in four key areas, such as recognition and celebration of their heritage, educational opportunities, employment, and of course, mental health and addiction treatment. A little bit about me and my connection to Homewood Health. It's also a very proud moment for me personally to be standing here with you all. I've been with Homewood for 27 years, and in that time, I've been privileged to witness the evolution of how we continue to innovate our treatment programs, our spaces for our patients, and our depth of services for clients across Canada. For an institution marking its 140th anniversary this year, it's incredible to see how it continues to find new and important ways to be a leader in the mental health and addiction field. By acknowledging the special needs of an individual's unique journey at our facilities and understanding the value of tradition and of sacred spaces, we are making sure that we consider the full spectrum of what healing looks like, no matter who you are or where you are from. For me personally, I've been on my own journey of understanding and learning. I joined Raven's View in January of 2023, but I've been a part of the development of this facility since we broke ground five years ago. As Raven's View evolved into the place that it is today, so has my understanding of what it means to connect to your heart, your mind, and your spirit to the work that you do. I'm forever grateful for the opportunity to work with our cultural liaison, Nadia, and our cultural knowledge keeper, Sandria both of whom guide us in our commitment to integrate cultural programming throughout Raven's View and strengthen our par partnership with the Sandwich Nations. So why is this such an important milestone in Raven's View's history? Raven's View was born from the understanding that we needed a treatment facility on the west coast of Canada to support our diverse population. In 2015, Pocachin and Homewood Raven's View worked together with support from the other Sandwich Nations to purchase and subdivide the 100-acre Dunsmere Lodge. That property was previously owned by the University of Victoria. The result was 72 acres staying with the Pocachin Nation, now protected, and the remaining 28 acres were acquired by Homewood Health to create this beautiful healing place. Raven's View is now in its fifth year of operations 
and in the short time it has shown its remarkable impact by being a critical resource for underserved community members. This includes Indigenous community here on the West Coast. We always knew that if we provided our services here, we would make sure we helped those most in need. Since 2022, there have been two dedicated treatment beds for Sandwich Nation individuals at no cost. In that time, 12 members of the Sandwich Nations have found support and best-in-class treatment because of that availability. Homewood Ravens View also established the Sandwich Nations Education Scholarship. This scholarship provides $5,000 to a Sandwich Nation student toward their tuition, and I'm very proud to say that we had three very deserving applicants this year, and at the generosity of Homewood, all three are being awarded the full $5,000 scholarship. None of this would be possible without the various community members from across Canada coming together and building on this partnership. In just five years, we have truly seen the powerful impact of what we can do together. What an incredible start and what endless opportunities await us in the future. And now, really, why are we here? About three years ago, we reached out to Corey Hastings from Hastings Hill Enterprises and discussed what we were hoping for. Our goal was clear. We needed to create a space that offered tranquility and connection, a place for anyone on their healing journey, here to access and find space to rest in, whether they are from an indigenous community or other cultures around the globe. As a cultural space, it also needed to be about identity and tradition, to provide space for a deeper connection between an individual who is on a very personal journey it can help to honor traditions and remove any barriers for anyone looking to feel safe and welcome. Corey and his team members, Sean and Steve, along with others, built this spa space to meet those expectations and then some. They rose to the challenge and delivered us a truly and magical, thoughtful, cultural space for our Indigenous community members, along with anyone else here receiving treatment, no matter what their culture to use. I remember when the crew first arrived and all of a sudden the concrete was being laid and it became more than just some drawings and some conversations to being, wow, this is actually becoming a reality. So, so, so exciting. And you could hear the whispers throughout the building of, wow, it's actually happening. They're doing this. So to all of the Ravensview team, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To the special group that helped bring today together, Alicia Levins. Kelly Thornber, Nadia Salmanaw, Sandria Sampson, Alberto Delgado, and Eddie Cullen. And I also want to thank all of our clients and everyone here today. Thank you for sharing in this moment and helping to continue our important work with our diverse community.